Hi, my name is Pierre Rosbach and I'm happy to present you our work on content moderation on social media in the European Union. In general, content moderation on social media aims to prevent the spread of illegal and harmful content in online communities. In the last years, social media platforms have implemented various systems um, to detect and moderate content. However, platforms often keep the specifics of those systems opaque. Now, that's one of the reasons why the European Union decided to implement the Digital Services Act to modernize the digital landscape. Um, as part of the DSA, um, all very large online platforms must provide detailed statements of reasons for any content moderation activity. And in addition, all these statements of reasons must be made publicly available on the transparency database. In total, within the first two months of, after the launch of the um, database, more than 156 million statements of reasons have been submitted by the eight largest social media platforms. For this work, we extracted and analyzed a wide variety of variables to understand the content moderation actions in the EU. Turning to some of our main results, um, as you can see in the figures, we observe strong differences um, in the platform-specific moderation of different content types, with a large share being classified as other. Regarding the reasons why content was moderated, we observe that while most platforms focus on, the, on content that is out of the scope of platform service, particularly Pinterest and X, focus more on pornographic and also violent content. At this point, I recommend checking out our paper for more detailed results also on the um, moderation actions that have been implemented and the degree of automation within um, detection and moderation. Uh, we can conclude that the transparency database provides a unique and previously unavailable data source to study content moderation decisions. This gives us the opportunity to shed a light on how major social media providers moderate user-generated content on their platforms. However, the significant differences and inconsistencies across social media platforms suggest that the interpretation of the DSA obligations vary across platforms and that there is an urge for clearer guidelines for handling rule-breaking content. Thank you and see you in Singapore.